It began with a simple beep. In 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, a polished metal sphere that circled the globe and shattered the notion that the sky was the limit. The world looked up in wonder and fear. The space race had begun. Soon after, Yuri Gagarin became the first human to see our planet from orbit in 1961, strapped into the Vostok capsule. The United States, playing catch-up, made a bold promise to land a man on the moon before the decade was out. That promise was kept in July 1969. The Apollo 11 mission saw the Saturn V, the most powerful machine ever built, roar into the heavens. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin left the first footprints in the lunar dust, a moment of unity that was watched by half the planet. After the moon, the race shifted gears. The 1980s introduced the Space Shuttle, the world's first reusable spacecraft. It wasn't just about visiting space, it was about working there. This era built the International Space Station. Rival nations, the US and Russia, joined forces to build a floating laboratory that has been continuously occupied for over two decades. It became a symbol of what humanity could achieve when competition turned into collaboration. But the 21st century brought new players. Government agencies were joined by private titans like SpaceX. The reusable Falcon 9 rockets landing vertically on drone ships made space accessible like never before. Simultaneously, the moon beckoned again. This time, it wasn't just two nations. China's Chang'e missions began exploring the lunar far side, a place no human eyes had seen directly from the surface. Then came India. In 2023, the Chandrayaan-3 mission successfully landed near the lunar South Pole, a historic first that cemented India as a space superpower. As we stand approaching 2026, the moon is busier than ever. Just last year, in 2024, China's Chang'e 6 returned the first ever samples from the far side of the moon, unlocking geological secrets billions of years old. Private companies are also fighting for a foothold. After the Odysseus lander tipped over in 2024, intuitive machines returned in March to 2025 with the Athena lander. Despite technical hurdles and a sideways landing, it transmitted critical data from the South Pole, proving that commercial lunar delivery is here to stay and looming large is NASA's Artemis program. The massive SLS rockets are prepped. The crew of Artemis II, Reed Wiseman, Victor Glover, Christina Koch, and Jeremy Hansen are currently in final training. They are scheduled to launch in early 2026, marking the first time in over 50 years that humans will loop around the moon.